Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel of Beyond Consultancy, where we discuss all things operations excellence. My name is Herman Lemons. In this keynote, we will show how to apply the quantity discount model. This keynote is the sixth of a series. In the previous keynotes, we explained the economic order quantity model. If you are new to this subject, you may want to take a look at them first. Otherwise, let us proceed. The economic order quantity model determines the order size at which the sum of the total inventory and ordering costs is minimal. This is the total cost function and this is the formula determining the optimal order size. The model assumes that the purchasing costs are constant, hence they were omitted from the cost function. In case of quantity discounts, however, the purchasing costs are a function of the order quantities, so they are included again. This becomes the total cost function of the quantity discount model. We will explain the quantity discount model by working through an example. The example assumes three different price settings corresponding with three different order size brackets. On the next pages we will detail one thing and another and also create a process that leads to the optimal order size. As a starting point, the table shows the price discounts P for successive order size brackets. For an order size less than 600 units, the purchase price is 15 euro. If the order size is between 600 and 1199 units, the price drops to 14 euro. Once the order size is equal to or greater than 1200 units, the unit price becomes 13 euro. We now determine the corresponding inventory cost H per unit. In the example, the inventory cost is 20% of the purchase price. It is calculated for each order size bracket as shown in the table. The next step is to calculate the economic order quantity for each order size bracket. This is done using the formula provided where the demand D is 19,200 units, the ordering costs S are 50 euro per order, and the inventory costs H are as specified for each order size bracket. The economic order quantities for the respective brackets are 800 units, 828 units, and 859 units. We need to check the feasibility of each economic order quantity. The general procedure is to start from the cheapest bracket, the bottom row, to move upwards in the table and to stop at the first feasible option. For the bottom row, the economic quantity is 859. However, the price of 13 euro is only applicable for an order size equal to 1200 units or more. The 859 is thus not feasible. We need to move to the next row. Here the optimal quantity is 828. This falls within the order size range and is thus a feasible option. According to the QDM, we stop the search as this is the cheapest option thus far. The last step in the QDM process is to calculate the total cost for the first feasible economic order quantity and to repeat this for each next higher bracket. The total cost for the order quantity 828 is rounded 271,000 euro. The next order size candidate is 1200 units. Here the total cost becomes around 252,000 euro. We conclude that the order quantity of 1200 units is the solution to this quantity discount model. This then concludes the QDM process. We can illustrate the process graphically. We start from the lowest EOQ in point 1, move to the first feasible EOQ in point 2 and compare its total cost with the total cost of the bracket points of the higher order sizes and decide to move to point 3, which indeed is the cheapest option. This brings us to the end of this keynote. Thank you for being here. I hope you found it interesting. Please leave your views in the comment section below and I hope to see you again.